Welcome to Student of the Gun University. This is our primary classroom, and for those of you who've never been here, well, congratulations, you're here now, at least via Facebook video. Step number one, where are you on planet Earth? We want to know. Tell us where you are on planet Earth. Step number two, invite, tag, let two people know. And if you don't know how to tag someone, either A, if you're watching on your phone, Jared, if they're watching on their phone, they have to back out, back out yeah. tag someone and come back in. I don't know, it's weird, it's Facebook. You can share it though. You can share it. So share it, right? Everybody can do that. Tell us where you are. I know. You're probably thinking, wow, I cannot believe that I'm getting so much student of the gun video today. I, I know, I'm blown away too. Don't get used to it, it's not gonna last forever. But this is a topic that uh, we have to address, and it's how would you spend $400 million in cash? I don't know, how would I spend $400 million in cash? I know how I would, and I know how you would, but let's not think about ourselves. What I want you guys to think about is how other people would spend $400 million in cash. All right. First up, well, we've got a story right here from the Wall Street Journal. Printed this up off the WallStreetJournal.com just now. U.S. sent cash to Iran as Americans were freed. Obama administration insists there was no quid pro quo, but critics charge payment amounted to ransom. Hmm. Let us dive in a little bit deeper here. Stories by Jay Solomon and Carol E. Lee. And the dateline on the story is August 3rd, 2016, Washington. The Obama administration secretly, the most transparent administration in the history of the United States of America, secretly organized an airlift of $400 million, million worth of cash to Iran that coincided it's just a coincidence. With the January release of four Americans that were being detained by the government of Tehran, in Tehran. Hmm. According to U.S. and European officials and congressional staff briefed on the operation afterwards. Hmm. Wooden pallets stacked with euros, francs, and other currencies were flown into Iran in an unmarked cargo plane according to these officials. The U.S. procured the money from central banks in the Netherlands and Switzerland. The money represented the first installment in a 1.7 billion, billion dollar settlement the Obama administration reached with Iran to resolve the decades old dispute of a failed arms deal from 1979 that we made with the last monarch, the Shah of Iran. All right, and you say, now, if you are a dedicated student of the gun, you're probably, probably not happy with that. If you're an American taxpayer, you're probably not happy with that because $400 million in cash as just part of what, what did I say? 1.7 billion, uh, where does that cash come from? Where does the US federal government get money do they have jobs and they, oh, that's right, they get it from you and I. Okay, I got it. But let's not look at it from our point of view. Let us look at this from the point of view of a social democrat, of a good liberal, of a Bernie Sanders supporter. So I know that you know some of these people. And uh, you might want to query them, some of these pro-Obama, pro-Hillary, pro-Bernie kind of people that are in your lives. And... When I thought about it, I thought, well, what do liberals love? What pet programs do liberals love? Well, liberals love school lunch programs. School lunch, school breakfast, school snacks, school dinner. We're going to turn public schools into restaurants. So you don't even have to eat at your house anymore, little Jimmy. You can just come here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even in the summertime, we're going to open the school in the summer so that you can come here and we can feed you because apparently your parents can't feed you. Now, I, I got this information from the internet.com. I went on and I, I looked for average costs. The average cost of a school lunch in the United States of America 
is $2.68. So let's start with our 400 million, shall we? We'll be a little professorial here. All right, your government just gave $400 million in cash to, your government just gave $400 million in cash to Iran. Now, what else could we have done with that? Well, let's say we like to feed the starving children, right? $2.68 per kid per lunch, right? Let's see, $2.68. Do you know how many school lunches that we could have bought with $400 million in cash? Well, that would be $149,253,000. All right, in case you didn't hear me, the number is 149,253,731 school lunches could have been purchased with that, four, with that 400 million. Now you say, but Paul, that's okay, we've already got that taken care of. Taxes, property taxes, all that. Well, we like to buy, we always talk about we don't have enough money. When is the last time your local school system looked out at you, the taxpayer, and said, you know what, we have plenty of money. As a matter of fact, we're gonna give some back. That would be never. Every year, you know, year and a half, two years, three years, your local school system comes to you and says, hey, we don't have enough money. We need more money for our schools. We're going to have to increase your taxes, okay? Because you love the children, right? And if you don't vote for the tax, well, then you hate children and you're a monster. Now, I went to the internet.com and what I found was the average cost of a textbook in the United States varied from either $50 to $100. So how many books for little kids could we buy with $400 million? Well. We could either buy 8 million books at 50 bucks a piece, or we could buy only 4 million books for school kids uh, if they're 100 bucks a piece. Now, what else do liberals love? Liberals love animals, right? You love animals, we love animals. Animals are just as important as you and me. Now, are there puppies and kittens waiting in shelters right now to be adopted? We say, well, yeah. Sadly, there are Q. Sarah McLaughlin music. The average cost of a puppy adoption in the United States of America is $200. So, $200 to adopt a puppy. How many puppies could we save? If instead of sending that $400 million in ransom to Iran, we could have saved the lives of 2 million puppies. 2 million puppies. Think about that. 2 million puppies are going to die because the Obama administration sent that money to Iran. Now you say, now come on, Paul. It's not just about school lunches and kids' textbooks and puppies. There are other more important things in the world. But I got you. I'm with you. Hey, don't watch my butt while I'm doing this. Your butt's cut off, so that's good. Oh, okay. All right. Do you know there is a special erasing technique so that you don't shake your butt while you do it? You're supposed to go up and down, not side to side, because it makes your butt shake. Yeah, it's okay. What do Bernie Sanders supporters love? You know you know at least one Bernie Sanders supporter in your life. They want free college, right? The government should pay for my college because I'm alive and I'm breathing. Well, I went on the internet.com again and I found out that the average cost, I'm sorry, for one, a full-time semester of college, one year of full-time college in the United States, average cost is $32,000. How many semesters of college could we buy at $400 million? Let's see. So you can tell your Bernie Sanders supporter that we could have bought 12,500 years of college, full semesters of college, 
with that $400 million in ransom money. Let's be gentle, let's be kind, let's talk about the poor and the downtrodden. Drug rehabilitation, inner city drug problems. We know it's a problem, you know it's a problem, we all agree. Again, the average cost of drug rehab for one addict, one year worth of rehab for one addict, it's actually not that much, it's only $4,700. That gets you some methadone and some counseling. How many drug addicts could we have helped get off the street with $400 million? Well, the answer is Eighty-five thousand one hundred and six drug addicts could have been helped to get off their habit. They could have helped them kick their habit with this. So now we got eighty-five thousand people will die of drug addiction thanks to the four hundred million dollar ransom. Now, what, Jared? What else do liberals love? What is the sacramental right of the liberal? What do they love? They love choice. And what does choice mean? It means killing babies. Oh, I'm sorry. Non-vital, uh, what non-vital tissue masses. But they like to they like to kill unborn babies. Now the average cost of killing an unborn baby in the United States of America is four hundred fifty dollars. So stick with me here, liberal hippies. How many infant babies could we kill with four hundred million dollars? Well, the answer is. I know it's crazy. So with $400 million, your liberal friends could kill 888,888 babies. Now you said, Paul, you're a crazy person. Where did you get those facts? Well, I got them from the internet.com. Fact check them yourself. And you say, but the president and his administration and his advisors and his spokespeople said that this deal with Iran has been in the works for a long, long time. And that's okay. So they're deserving that money. Well, it's, it's your money. It's not the government's money, but they should give U.S. taxpayer money to Iran because, well, it's just time to put the past behind us. It's not 1979 or 1980 more. It's 2016, and it's time to put the past behind us, mend fences with Iran, and move into the future. You might think that. Except for the fact, oh crap, they've got a story right here uh, from CNN.com. Now, I think you'll admit uh, that CNN is not a pro-Republican, pro-conservative news uh, outlet. So if CNN's reporting on it, the, I don't know. State Department report finds that Iran is the top state sponsor of terror in a story datelined June 2nd, 2016, six months after the Comrade Barry regime gave 400 million in cash on pallets to Iran. Hmm. Uh, dateline, uh, Washington, D.C. The State Department on Thursday released its annual report on global terrorist activity listing Iran, that's I-R-A-N, cute flock of seagulls music there, as the top state sponsor of terrorism and labeling ISIS as the greatest threat globally. You mean the JV team that has been contained? Hmm, that's funny. Uh, the report also includes statistics on terrorist activities worldwide and said that 11,774 terrorist attacks in 92 countries occurred during 2005. Now, the report also said that Iran was co continuing to provide arms and cash. This is the State Department. This isn't Breitbart. This isn't some far right or far right, you know, crazy conspiracy. This is the U.S. Department of State in their own investigation said that Iran continues to provide arms and cash to terrorist groups like Hezbollah, the Iraqi Shia groups, including Qatabi Hezbollah, 
and groups designated as foreign terrorist organizations. Huh. So, why would you want to give cash to Iran? Now, in the United States of America, if you get stopped with lots and lots of cash on you, that's tantamount admission that you're going to commit a crime with it or that you have committed a crime. So knowing what we know, that Iran is the number one state sponsor of terror, I decided to find out what I could really get with $400 million in cash. Let's say I wasn't going to buy school lunches and textbooks and rescue puppies and stuff. Let's say I was actually going to do what we know Iran has been doing. Well, you in the market for an AK-47? Well, I'll tell you what, if you got U.S. dinero and you go to the African black market, you can pick up an AK-47 assault rifle. I'm not talking about these semi-automatic things that you get at Academy Outdoors. No, I'm talking about the real deal. The ones you get from the grocery store? The, yeah, the ones you get from the grocery store. So, AK-47. On the black market, if you have U.S. dinero, if you have cash, you can get one for 200 bucks. How many AK-47s can you get on the African black market for $400 million? Well, the answer is two million AK-47s, but we're not done. You guys all like Rambo movies, right? Rambo movies, Schwarzenegger movies. The RPG-7, the rocket-propelled grenade designed by the Soviets way back when. Now let's say you were in the market for an RPG-7. You say, I got cash, I'm flush with some francs, some euros, I got some US dinero. I want to pick me up some RPG-7s. So you pop on over to Benghazi, you pop over to Somalia, you go to Mogadishu, you're shopping in the market and you find out that the going price for an RPG-7 is a bargain at $2,000. I've got $400 million in cash. How many RPG-7s to shoot at Black Hawk helicopters can I buy? Well, $200,000 RPG-7s you can buy with that cash right there. But folks, we're not done. Oh, we're not even close to being done. Let's say that you want to shoot down some of those pesky aircraft. Well, they're civilian, military, we don't care. Well, the Soviets designed this really cool object called the SA-7 Grail. Now the SA-7 Grail can be fired by one man from the ground up into the air and shoot down an aircraft. You say, well, I don't know, it's got to be a pretty pricey item. No, nope. go to the black market. How much can I expect to spend on an SA-7 Grail? $5,000, ladies and gentlemen, for a grand total of... I could buy 80,000 SA-7 Grail surface-to-air launchers. <laughs> and these silly Fox News experts are worried about scopes. <laughs> They're worried about scopes. I could buy 2 million AK-47s with this cash in Iran. And they're worried about scopes. Oh, but you say, Paul, you got to feed it. you got to buy ammunition. These things don't go bang on their own. I'm with you. All right. Average cost of 762 by 39 Mike Mike millimeter. It's five dollars a box, 20 rounds per box. So let's say got my cash here. I'm going shopping for ammo. I need some 762 for my AKs. How many boxes of ammo can I get? Well, the answer would be. Eighty million boxes of 762. I know you guys are drooling, aren't you? But we're not done. Let's say we're going to price it all the way down to a single round of ammunition. How many rounds of AK-47 762 by 39 Mike Mike can I get for 400 million dollars? The answer is 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition can go to your favorite terrorist organization thanks to the Comrade Barry administration and their charitable donation of 400 million of your tax dollars. To whom? Who do they give it to? Did they give it to a monastery? Did they give it to uh, the Red Cross? No, that's right. Your government, the Comrade Barry administration, 
gave a cash payment, untraceable money, $400 million, to what the State Department has dubbed as the number one sponsor of terrorism in the world. Doesn't that make you feel proud to be an American? Got one more question for you. If Iran is the number one sponsor of terrorism in the world because, as the report states, they continue to provide arms and cash to terrorist groups worldwide. Let me put it to you this way. Let's say your buddy wants to buy heroin. He doesn't have enough money to buy the heroin he wants. And you say, here's, and he comes to you and says, hey, I want to buy some heroin. Give me 20 bucks, give me 50 bucks, give me 100 bucks so I can buy that heroin. So you give him 100 bucks, he takes 100 bucks, goes and buy the heroin. Are you not implicated in that purchase of heroin? Is not the United States federal government, based upon the $400 million cash ransom paid coincidentally to the terrorist state of Iran, not, should we not add ourselves to the list of state terror sponsors? I don't know, America. But the next time a group of little Johnny Jihads walk into a movie theater, walk into a mall with fully automatic AK-47s, RPGs, and grenades, and start whacking and slaughtering humans, I guarantee you they did not go down to their local grocery store and buy those guns. They were given cash by a sponsor state. Where did the sponsor state get the money? I don't know. It's a mystery. Just a coincidence. All right, that's it. Just thought you might uh, like a little lesson there. Thank you, everybody out there in the audience, for joining us today. Uh, make sure that you go to studentofthegun.com, click on the big orange button, follow the directions, and you can be on the mailing list. You'll find out everything that we're doing. We've got two books that we're launching. We've got the TV show. We've got the radio show. I already have books in print. And uh, what else, Jared? Jared's on the other side. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> That's it. What else is there? Have a wonderful weekend. And what do, we, what do they do on the dating game? Mwah!